I'm at the Raccoon River in West Des Moines where water levels are extremely low right now. The river should be chest high, but I'm standing on dry ground. When you have low water levels, is sometimes you have water quality issues too. We are getting less yield in our wells and infiltration gallery, so we're taking a little more direct surface water out of the rivers. Here at the Fluor Drive Treatment Plant, we have the ability to take water out of either the Raccoon River or the Des Moines River. So we look at both of those rivers uh, to determine which has the best water quality for the day. That's Kyle Danley of Des Moines Water Works. Right now, the time of year is working in our favor. Irrigation load has dropped off significantly, especially the last several days. And so water demand is down. Um, Des Moines Water Works is monitoring the drought conditions in Iowa very closely. Uh, but at this time, we do not anticipate any water restrictions. So what would be the best and most effective way to end drought conditions and restore river levels? You just need a, a long duration rainfall over several months to really recharge the groundwater and also bring those water levels back up. We will likely continue with inconsistent bouts of precipitation as we enter into our third year at La Nina, but the future is far more uncertain. It seems we're having more extreme conditions, uh, being more floods uh, or more droughts. We're gonna be monitoring that uh, a lot more in the next few years to better understand how climate change impacts us and what we can do to better uh, prepare ourselves for that. Parts of central Iowa are running as much as two feet below average on rainfall over the last 365 days. We'll monitor for any changes to see if drought relief is on the way. Trey Fulbright, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.